Coronary angiography is a method of visualization of coronary blood flow in which X-ray imaging is used. In this video, we will speak about the nomenclature of coronary angiographic views. Coronary angiography uses X-rays that can be rotated in different directions. The device consists of two major parts. One of them emits X-ray and is called X-ray source. The other one detects X-rays and is called image intensifier. Both these parts are connected by C-arm. This part is called so because it looks like the letter C. A patient lies down on the back. The C-arm moves in different planes to provide many important angiographic views. Two main angiographic planes are shown. The first anatomical plane looks from the patient's feet toward the patient's head. The interior posterior position, also called standard starting position or zero position, is called when image intensifier is situated directly above the patient and the X-ray source is situated directly below the patient. Left and right anterior oblique position are very important in practice. If the image intensifier is rotated to the left side of the patient, this position is called left anterior oblique, also called LAO, and vice versa. If the image intensifier is rotated to the right side of the patient, such position is called right anterior oblique, also called RAO. If image intensifier is rotated around to 90 degrees in any of two directions, such position is called lateral. It may be right lateral or left lateral depending on the side of the image intensifier. Also, degrees of left and right rotation should be noted. Now, let's look at a patient from another plane, for example, from the right side of the patient. C-arm with attached X-ray source and image intensifier may rotate around this plane. If image intensifier moves toward the patient's head, there is cranial angulation. If image intensifier moves toward the patient's feet, there is a caudal angulation. Rotation over 40 degrees typically is not used. Too high angulation may collide with the patient, leading to injury. Degrees of cranial or caudal angulation are noted as well. Most of the angiographic positions require rotation of the C-arm in both planes. For example, image intensifier may be rotated by 30 degrees to the right side of the patient and by 20 degrees to the patient's head simultaneously. It's important to know the angiographic position in order to distinguish coronary arteries correctly. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe and hit the like button.